So we are uh, practicing right now for the USA Ice Team tryouts. We're actually just out fun fishing, but I always utilize the opportunity, every opportunity I can to practice. And if you're gonna practice on, uh, for the USA Ice Team, you gotta bust out the palm rods. And I think you gotta catch some small fish. So we've been on small fish here, little bluegills. They've been relatively aggressive. They haven't had been too difficult to catch. But uh, those little bites, I don't know if you can zoom in on that uh, that indicator, but when they when they bite, it's just a little tickle of the indicator. See that little dink? That's a bite, believe it or not. the smallest fish we may catch today. I have other rods and indicators with me that actually will show that even better. This one's relatively relatively stiff for the size of the jig that's on there. As you come up, keep working that water column. Get them to bump you. Work your way back down again. Not the smallest fish, of course, we've caught all day, <laughs> but, uh, you know, those little fish are sometimes what you got to practice with, and sometimes the smaller the better. I'll drop it back down, we'll see if we get uh, some of these really tiny ones that we've been catching, probably half that size, maybe a third that size, out of this same hole. So I'll show you what we're using here. Just a single hole in the head, a car uh, jig uh, with a single spike. It has to be red on this one. We'll drop that down. I'm fishing about a foot off the bottom. a uh, little movement of the of the uh, spring but that little movement is sometimes all it takes all right so I'm gonna just wander over to one of these other holes here I haven't checked it with the electronics or anything like that what I will do is I'm gonna grab my scoop though some of these holes are icing up pretty quick depth set from the last hole. I know this area is about the same depth everywhere. And most of the fish 
coordinated electronics earlier have all been in that same range across the board as well. So I should be able to drop down my jig and uh, catch fish, hopefully, with ease right off the bat without electronics. So we'll, we'll see about that. that confidence builder in a sense do you know that uh, you can catch fish without those electronics trusting in your equipment reading that spring these palm rods are nice because the depth is set so I come back to the same depth every time all those fish are about in the same area. Hopefully there's a few more fish here. I do here is it's actually dropped down a little bit until I know I found bottom. There you see the line kind of curl up. So I'll, I'll bring my indicator down and I'll reel in the rod until I've got tension on the spring. Then I'll come up from there and I'll kind of just work that bottom for right now. See if maybe some of those fish are coming in a little bit lower. Kind of just off bottom. Maybe they don't want to come up. There's a lot of predator fish around. Pick off some of those fish that uh, they don't want to come up that foot off the bottom. Maybe they'll only come up those few inches. Not a big fish, but uh, that's what we got to practice with. 